Hi, everyone. Welcome back for another episode of Bell Greater Dallas Unplugged. I thought about skipping this week, you know, give you guys a break, but I couldn't not have an episode on thankfulness. So first thing I'm thankful for is for the short week. Who doesn't love a short week? Yay. I'm also thankful for the people that have given their time to talk with me as I highlight them in our vlog. It takes a lot of time during their day to speak with me. So that's why I'm so very thankful for each and every one of you guys for just riding, riding this journey with me through these vlogs. But if you've missed some episodes, let me suggest a couple. We did have a couple technical difficulties, so maybe you missed these. Episode 24 and 26. Episode 24 is a conversation that I had with my old high school teacher. Although he's not, he doesn't work for, he's not a teacher for Westwood High School anymore. He's actually in association management. And our conversation was about why having a membership in an association right now is so important. But also, you know, he's just such an engaging, exciting person. He, anytime you hear him speak, he, he just makes you smile. And I just thought he would have, it would just kind of open your eyes to things. Like for me, it was, he talked about just the groups, even in high school. I mean, you know, association isn't just BOMA. It's, it's like the student councils in the world or the, the women's club at your church, things like that. There's a reason why we all group together um, to help get us through the day or get through our everyday lives. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Um, if you haven't watched it already, but I do encourage you to watch it. So I won't talk about it anymore. You just need to watch it. The other episode is episode 26. This is a conversation I have with Michael Walker, your next president. We talk a little bit about his theme and what he's most excited about for the year. And you all are just in store to be inspired by Mr. Walker. He is passionate about where, where we're headed and I'm excited to share that excitement with you. I'm excited for his year and I hope that you feel the same way after you watch the episode. I'm thankful for the assistance that we've been receiving, especially while we look for our new executive director. I'm very thankful for our search committee, Carrie McCampbell, Ray Mackey, Steve Broom, Courtney Keebler, Michael Walker, and Jacqueline Bird. Without this group, I don't know where we would be. I, I've just, I've, I'm just so thankful that I'm going through this journey with them because with all of their insights and everything, it's been really a good journey to go through. And I'm also um, thankful for Pena Search. They've been working hard for us. They've gone through 2,000 resumes to give us the top 25 candidates. And then from there, we went to choose four people to talk with, and then we chose two people to give us a presentation on what they would do as soon as they got into the office. What would their 30, 60, 90 day plan be like? And we had someone. And that we had already had signed letter offer and everything. And unfortunately, I got a call a couple of weeks ago that he is staying put. And I was so excited for you guys to meet him because I, he was just so innovative. And when he talked, you were just in awe and just ready to go. And he had some great ideas. But, you know, that's okay. It's okay that next Monday was going to be his first day because that just means that we're, we're just that much closer to our executive director. So I'm not, I'm not, you know, too sad about this quite yet because I know there's someone there that's for us and, and we'll find that person. I'm thankful for the people that have stepped up during this time to keep Belma Greater Dallas going. As you all know, Jacqueline Bird was acting as interim executive director for us. And she got a pretty good taste of what it's like behind the scenes. She'll be ready to be president in a couple of years. I'm so grateful for her stepping up during this time, but however, she must transition into her full new full-time job. And I will forever be thankful for Jacqueline for her hard work for these last five months. As Jacqueline moves on, we've asked Bernadette Jaramillo Peck to be our next interim executive director. And she's no stranger to the BOMA world. And her husband is Jim Peck, former BOMA International Chair but she also helped Belma, New Mexico too. So Bernadette has agreed to assist us through this time. And I'm very thankful for her too. She will have a different email from Jacqueline, so, but you can always reach out to her via phone by just calling the Belma Greater Dallas office. I'm also thankful for the executive committee, Michael Walker and Jacqueline Bird. 
these two I have learned so much from. And um, I'm just thankful that I'm, I have them by my side as we go through these hard times. But I'm also thankful for the board of directors. They've been vigilant, nimble, and patient through these last, this last year. They've been very supportive. And for this, I thank them. I'm very thankful for the Boma Greater Dallas staff. They've kept everything going these last five months with their great ideas and hard work we wouldn't be able to do any of our events, webinars, or communications without them. And I'm thankful to our Boma family, especially to those that have personally reached out to see how they can help, or even those that have agreed to step up to do a webinar or to be part of a task force, or even just providing thoughts and ideas on what they're needing right now. We would not be Boma Greater Dallas without you all. So I appreciate you all for taking the time and sharing your thoughts and concerns because that's what we're here for. We're here for you. This year has been difficult, but I've said it before and I'll say it again. We're gonna get through this together. So if you need any help, if it's talking to your owner about whatever it is to help you get through this year, feel free to reach out so we can help you because that's what we're here for. And lastly, I'm thankful for my work family and my real family. I wouldn't be president with, be able to be president without my Crescent family and the Makanani and Lang family. A lot of reasons why I'm still standing today is due to both families. They've given me support, the energy, the love and laughter I've needed to keep going. It's kind of like running a marathon. Every little shout out helps to get you closer to that finish line, right? Although let's be real, I don't think I'll ever be running a marathon. I can only do 5Ks and maybe a five mile run, but still. It really feels like we're going through a marathon. But anyways, I thank you all so very much. And I hope that you and your families have a safe and blessed Thanksgiving. Cheers to you all. Thanks.